72, 73, 74, you're going to get the same damn numbers, 75, 75 straight pull, of course you have metal stretch, 76, Isaac's scared so he's bending the other way, 77, Looks like you still got room on the cylinder too, so 70, 78, 79, 79A, 8,000. Should we reset? It's not it's still going. I mean Obviously right now we're we don't even have to reset unless you just want to go to just try to get a failure and see if we can go to help. nine See if you can get to nine on it. Yeah. Well, let's wait. Let's reset. Let's stop and reset. Okay, reset. Fifty-two, fifty-nine, one hundred. Dry test without glue. Starting to get some rays on it. You're at seven hundred and fifty, eight hundred, one thousand. Just now started to release. Just now pulling out one thousand seventy-four max on the dry test pull. So a thousand seventy-four pounds. It pulls out without glue. Seventy-three fifty. Uh, break right there. Get the number seventy-three ninety-six. And what broke? Not the bolt. The quick link broke. The quick link broke. Yeah, this little this nine three eighths inch quick link shattered. Okay, so what we're going to do today is just run a little experiment with this um, redhead glue uh, adhesive here. It's fast, uh, fast working time, fast cure time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a half inch wave bolt in an oversized hole that I've already drilled and cleaned out and wobbled it out. So this is, push it in very easily. So this test is going to, um, it's going to test the, 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 the strength of the glue and not the holding power of the, the, the wave bolt in and of itself if uh, we are going to put it like in a, in a half inch hole. So okay. let's get started. I'm going to squirt a bunch of glue in here. I'm going to put a lot in here so you can see 
it actually overflowing. I probably wouldn't normally use this much. I want to make it very clear for the video here. So we're going to push that in. Get the towel here. So you kind of work it around a little bit. Clean it up. I'm going to hit start. Okay, so it's been seven minutes, um, and it's set up in there. The glue is pretty, uh, pretty hard. I mean, you know, I can still wiggle it a little bit here, but the glue is definitely set. Um, I mean, you can see, you know, it moves moves a bit, but it's not running down or anything. So this glue will definitely make this process of glue and bolts easier. One of the main disadvantages in the past of glue and bolts was glue seeping down everywhere, getting all over you. Um, even on an overhanging route, you know, this isn't going to drip down. You can clean it up real nicely. And the bolt, even in an oversized hole, is not going to uh, go anywhere here. Um, according to the, the paperwork, there's about a half an hour, about a 35 minute full cure time uh, before the glue is full strength. So what we'll do is we'll set the camera back down on a time lapse for 35 minutes and then we'll give it a pull at that point and, and see what happens then. It should be full strength. Okay, so it's been 35 minutes, so I'm going to stop the stop the timer here. Okay, this is uh, real good and hard in there. The glue's all hardened up, so we're going to hook up a standard half-inch quick link here. Hook up a chain to it. We're going to move this stuff out of the way. And first, I'm just going to give it kind of a tug with my hands here to, to show you that that's in there. Now remember, this was uh, an oversized hole, and we just pushed the bolt right in, so it's not holding uh, in on its own at all. It's just purely the glue. So you can see that's my full body weight there. So I'm going to go start my truck, and uh, we'll just give it a little pull. Okay, so you see it just tipped this block right over lengthwise. Um, as I said in the previous video, we estimate this block to be certainly uh, two tons, 4,000 pounds, probably a little closer to 5,000 pounds. We would expect this because we know that, that the adhesive is very, very strong. But the major benefit here is that uh, it has that very, very fast cure time. So uh, I've used a lot of Hilti products, Hilti glue in the past. Hilti products are great. But it would take uh, 12 to 24 hours to get to get a strength like this. Um, and in that time it would take several hours before the glue would stop dripping down and seeping out of the hole and being all, all nasty and, and messy. So the major advantage here is the speed. Uh, this product also is much cheaper than the Hilti, so the uh, redhead adhesive combined with the wave bolt um, solves completely all the former, the previous problems of glue and bolt design. 